Good morning, Bluebells. So, you know, every Sunday what I usually do is a blog. Um, I write about a topic. Uh, maybe it's a secret topic. Maybe it's a topic that I'm discussing with um, several individuals, friends, co-workers, um, or just a topic that keeps coming up. Um, so, based off that, uh, I talked about several topics um, last week. Um, I talked about several topics this week about work ethic, about fun Friday, right? Now it's the fucking Friday. And then also um, like eating habits, equal a healthy life, just for example, right? So those are the things that I talk about. So this week, um, I've been going through so many things and I did put out a video just about just um, focusing and believing in your ability, Right, and that's what I'm doing right now, trying to believe in my ability. And sometimes I know this week has been a little difficult, so I've been sending out um, many newsletters. Um, and then I was like, maybe this blog this week is going to be different. Um, and I just came up with this right now because usually, you know, I'm writing something, I put something out, and I have it out and I send it out. This week, I want to do maybe something, or just today, it just came up with like, I need to do a bluebell confessional just like a check-in of how I'm feeling um, and the things that I'm going through just this week, the past week. As you guys know, some transitions are happening in my career um, with my job, uh, me being a wraparound manager and uh, me working for the district and some things happening. And it's affecting me, right? And I try to separate emotion versus business or just personal versus um business right so business wise it is a great decision um personal wise i don't like that it's happening to me right because this is the first time where i've been in a position where i actually love my job <laughs> i love my job i love uh my second job i love my third job i love my shea blue blog i love trying to develop it i love trying to develop a newsletter i love trying to do so many things um now i feel like they're all passions and that's never happened to me in my life i've never been in a situation where everything that i do is something that i love to do and i don't mind doing it i'm tired sometimes i get frustrated sometimes um but i never not want to do it i never not want to get up and do it um and i love that and i know those things are changing uh, just a bit just because that is my main career and I know that I'm trying to vamp up uh, a community with blue bells and shade blue and I love doing it I love being able to have the flexibility to do it I love just all of it it's just pouring into me and it's changing my life daily and right now or this whole week, I've been trying to put out content, different things. I wasn't working out and it didn't, I said it didn't affect me and it didn't affect me, but I'm starting to get my stress area. This is my stress area. And I have not felt this for maybe two months, three months. I haven't felt it, but now it's a little pain right here and in my lower back. And that's because I haven't did hot yoga this week. Um, cause I do hot yoga that helps me with my lower back issues and then how I'm sitting in stance, um, when I'm working on the computer or I'm working in my car on the computer or when I'm on my phone doing different things, I tend to slouch. I tend to use my back. I tend to have issues in my lower back. So that's why I do hot yoga and that's why I have changed my life. But I have become so, um, flustered and frustrated and confused and nervous and happy and excited all at the same time and anxious this week because of the things that are happening and because of those things that are happening I didn't work out I've been staying up till 11 12 o'clock at night um, working on resumes working on different things trying to get different certifications and trying to um, make sure that I become marketable as possible right uh, watching videos and I also like just in that moment, um, I kind of forgot about my own well-being and the things that I love to do, and that's mainly in some fitness uh, realm to help my body. And then also my mental, right? I still write down my things. I still write down my five thoughts. I still write what I'm grateful for. I still send out um, positive messages because that helps me throughout my day. Um, and 
and I still create content on the blog and I want to make sure shayblue.com is something that I pour into um, authentically, uh, transparently, because that's what I want to be able to do. But I'm just, today, it was, I'm nervous, um, anxious, because next week is the week, the week that we get, um, whether we're the applicants, whether we're can continue to work in this position because I got an email and I keep getting emails about different things like that and that my position might be dissolved on July 28th and I'm a little nervous about it um, and I just couldn't write today because I'm just so anxious and I don't know I was like I needed to confess so I'm like this is going to be something that I start doing maybe a confessional um, just talking to you and opening up to you guys and trying to get your feedback and just letting you guys know how I feel. Sometimes uh, you're not going to feel positive. Sometimes you're not going to. And I ran six miles just today. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Um, but my body was so tired afterwards because I realized I'm just moving so much. Sometimes I just don't sit in the present moment and feel everything that's happening. And I did that. And I'm doing that right now. That's why I'm talking to you because I'm just in my car with my computer in a moment realizing that this is real this is happening and you have to address it you have to walk through it you have to sit there in it sometimes you just gotta sit there in it and just face it and think about what could happen what could not happen you can't control any of it but what can you do now to make sure that you're okay <laughs> and i'm trying to make sure of that right I do have things in place, but I'm also more nervous about not having that job because I love that job. It's the money, of course, all of those things, but it's also the, I love what I do and I'm nervous about losing that. And I, I love what I do and everything that I do. It's like me, if I couldn't write in the blog anymore or if I couldn't teach my adult learners, I wouldn't know what to do because they pour into me. Everything pours into me so much that I will feel kind of empty without it. Because, and, and it's not so much that the job fulfills me, it's how, can, how much of a connection it is to me and my values in life. That's what fulfills me. Um, the interactions with different individuals, the people, the things, the plans that I come up with. Um, it's the same thing in the blog. The things that I come up with sometimes are just things that I'm feeling at that moment and things that I feel every day. That's why it fills me up. It, it gives me something. And I don't want that to be taken away. And sometimes things are taken away from you and you have to figure out how to keep moving forward. So I'm thinking about how to keep moving forward or how to make sure that I fight for it. I want it. So I need to fight for it. Um... And I know, I believe, I believe in my ability and I know that I can do it. I know I deserve it because I'm going to do a damn good job because I love doing it. And I, it's not even about the pay that I'm getting. It's about the value that I'm providing to some other person. And then it then pours back into me. Um, so that's what I want. I want all passion projects. I want to be able to pour into whatever I do and give it my best and my all uh, because that is the best feeling in the world for me. I don't know about other individuals, but for me, that's what it is. And I'm just confessing that I don't wanna lose my job because I love my job. I don't wanna stop doing the blog because I love writing and I love communicating with you. I don't wanna stop being able to be my vibrant self because that's who I am. I don't wanna stop uh, teaching my ESL learners because I love teaching them. It's the most, I could be dead tired, dead tired. And when I turn that camera on at 6 p.m. and I see everybody, oh my God, it's the best feeling in the world. It's like no other feeling. It's like the tiredness goes away. I'm no longer tired, frustrated, thinking about my job, thinking about trying to help others in my job, thinking about the blog. I'm not thinking about anything, but just having a conversation with them and making them feel confident and happy and, and happy to be here around me and happy to learn English and happy to be in this environment 
um, in this time that we can learn online. And I want to make sure that this is something that they can take away. Takeaways. I cannot change anybody's life. I cannot change my own life, but I can take things away that can make me better in a way, right? Skill sets. I don't know. <laughs> Everything. Um, but that's just my confessional today. And that's how I'm feeling. And I'm going to keep you guys posted on what's going on and how I'm feeling and what I'm supposed to be doing and what am I doing to change it. I know that I'm not going to stop working out and I shouldn't have stopped this week. I shouldn't have let it get to me where, because now I feel the stress in my lower back, the stress in my shoulder. Um, I kind of feel kind of groggy. I kind of, and when I ran yesterday, it was just a, an amazing feeling. It was so hot. I was so tired. I was so thirsty. But I felt like if I want this, I will keep running through it. I'm going to keep going. That's how I felt like the job, what I'm going through, my life, with the blog, anything. I felt like that run is my life. And if I want it bad enough, if I want to be happy, if I want to stand down on what I deserve, on what, I'm, what I value, I'm going to keep running. No matter how tired I am, I'm going to keep doing it. Because you know what happened? I finished and it felt awesome. And I kept going. So that's just what I'm going through today. Um, I'm in the gym parking lot right now. I'm at 24, I'm gonna go in there and go in the steam room and maybe, maybe do a little bit of lifting, but I know it'll make me feel better. Listening to my favorite song and just sit in the moment. Whatever happens, happens. It's out of my control. How I act on it and continue to move forward and how my feelings are about it and not taking it personal because it's not personal. I'm just taking it personal. Nothing is personal, especially what's happening to me right now. It's business. And that's how I need to make sure that how I react to it based off any decision, based off anything that happens. And if I'm, oper um, if I'm offered an opportunity um, I'm always going to make sure that I never put myself in a box where I get complacent and always have so many things available to me that if anything happens, I'll just move forward and move around and move around internally in anything that I do. Um, and that's what everything that I want to do. That's how I want to move forward in doing everything. So... That's how I'm feeling. Um, but I will keep you guys updated. I'm going to put out this blog as a video. Um, it's Shea Blue Confessional. Confessional Sunday, right? Um, so that's what's going to happen. Uh, that I'm going to start doing. And just doing some confessionals because I got some feedback. I say I love the, the videos. Sometimes those are better than me reading. And sometimes it's just me talking to you guys um, can help. And then you can comment on the video. You can comment on the blog. You can let me know your feedback. You can let me know what you're going through and what tools that you're using because sometimes you don't need, sometimes tools don't work. Sometimes just talking about it and trying to talk your way through it is what helps. And that's, it's helping me right now because I'm about to go in that gym. I'm about to come back out. I'm going to post this blog. I'm not going to be stressed out about it. I'm going to keep trying to move forward. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to do my job. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I'm just aware of what's happening. I'm recognizing of what's happening. And now I'm going to act on it. Right? So that's the things that we have to do. It's that last part that always um, jumbles us up. We don't act on it. We recognize it. We're aware of it. But what are you going to do? What's the action behind it? So that's where I'm at. So now I'm in my action mode. And my actions are, I'm going to work out. My actions are, I'm going to keep putting out on the blog. I'm going to increase my marketing on the blog. My action is with this job, whatever happens, I'm going to make sure that if I don't have a job, that I will make sure that I will go back to teaching, that I will go back to whatever position that's available. I will interview for whatever position that has to do with me supporting and valuing children. <laughs> That's it. So that's still a part of the passion project that I want to be able to do. So that's my actions. Um, and I'm still going to put out as much 
as I can with videos and create this. This is another action right here, a shea blue confessional. Um, and I'm, I'm comfortable with it because it's who I am. I'm accepting it. I'm accepting my situation. I'm accepting everything. So just got to move on with it and act on it, right? Um, but like I said, like I always say, remember, 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 it is not easy and it's not supposed to be ever. It's just necessary.